Why did the digital nomad refuse his friend's money? Because Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Two and a half minutes in and you're still with us. We appreciate you. Let's dive deeper into the world of currency exchange. Currency exchange can feel like a maze, with twists and turns that can leave you scratching your head. But don't worry, we're here to guide you through. So how does currency exchange work? You see, currencies are traded on the foreign exchange market, also known as Forex. The value of a currency is constantly changing in relation to other currencies due to factors like economic stability, political events, and market speculation. When you exchange your money, you're essentially buying a certain amount of a foreign currency at a set rate. Now onto the common pitfalls. The big one? High fees and poor exchange rates. It's tempting to use the convenient exchange kiosks at airports or hotels, but these often have the worst rates. And then there are hidden fees. Some services seem to offer great rates, but they sneak in extra charges that can really add up. So, how can you save money on currency exchange? Here's a tip. Use online platforms. Many of these platforms offer competitive rates and low fees. They can afford to do this because they operate online, cutting out the costs of physical locations. Some of these platforms even offer a feature where you can set your desired exchange rate, and the transaction will only happen when the rate hits your target. But remember, it's not all about the rates. Customer service matters too. Choose a platform that offers good support, just in case you run into any issues and always read the fine print before you commit. One more thing. If you're a digital nomad who needs to exchange large amounts of currency regularly, consider opening a multi-currency account. These accounts let you hold multiple currencies at once, saving you from having to exchange money every time you move to a new country. Now that you're armed with all this knowledge, you're well on your way to becoming a savvy digital nomad. And don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Five minutes in and we're just getting to the good stuff. Let's talk about international money transfers. You see, for digital nomads, money transfers are more than just sending money from point A to point B. They are the lifeline, the artery that keeps the heart of their lifestyle pumping. International money transfers are crucial for digital nomads for a few reasons. They allow them to earn in one currency and spend in another, manage their finances from anywhere in the world, and even pay for services or products in a currency that may not be their own. But, as anyone who sent money internationally knows, it can be a costly affair. So how can you save money on these transfers? The key lies in understanding that not all money transfer services are created equal. Banks, for example, are notorious for their high transfer fees and unfavorable exchange rates. They're reliable, sure, but there's a price tag attached. Enter online money transfer services. These platforms have revolutionized the way we send money across borders. They're fast, they're secure, and most importantly, they're inexpensive. Services like TransferWise, Revolut, and PayPal have made it their mission to offer competitive exchange rates and low transfer fees. But it's not just about choosing the right service. It's also about timing your transfers wisely. Currency exchange rates fluctuate throughout the day, 
and even a small change can make a big difference when you're transferring large sums of money. Some online platforms allow you to set alerts for when your preferred exchange rate is available, ensuring you get the most bang for your buck. And let's not forget about the benefits of these services. Apart from saving you money, they also offer features like multi-currency accounts, which allow you to hold and manage multiple currencies at once. This not only simplifies your finances, but also gives you the flexibility to spend in local currencies, further saving you on exchange fees. And that's a wrap on money transfers. If you've made it this far and haven't subscribed, what are you waiting for? Scene script, seven and a half minutes down and you're still with us. We're impressed. Let's wrap this up. So we've traversed the nomadic currency conundrum, ventured through the currency exchange maze, and navigated the lifeline of digital nomads, international money transfers. It's been quite the journey, hasn't it? Let's take a moment to recap these key points. Firstly, we explored the unique challenges that digital nomads face when it comes to dealing with different currencies. From changing exchange rates to hidden fees, it's a complex world out there. But by being informed and aware, you can avoid pitfalls and make your money go further. We then dove into the intricate maze of currency exchange. It's not just about finding the best rate, but also understanding the nuances of the different providers. Some might offer great rates, but charge hefty fees. Others might have excellent customer service, but slightly lower rates. It's a balancing act, and one that requires careful consideration. Next, we tackled the lifeline of every digital nomad, international money transfers. These can be a significant expense, especially if you're not careful. But by choosing the right transfer service, factoring in both cost and speed, you can ensure your money is where it needs to be when it needs to be there. Throughout this journey, one thing has been clear. Being financially savvy as a digital nomad is crucial. Every cent saved on currency exchange and money transfers is a cent that can be put towards your next adventure, your next project, or your rainy day fund. It can make the difference between just getting by and truly thriving as a digital nomad. But remember, saving money is just one piece of the puzzle. It's also about making smart financial decisions, planning for the future, and continually learning and adapting. The world of digital nomadism is always changing and so too should your approach to managing your finances. We hope that this video has given you some valuable insights into how to save money on currency exchange and international money transfers. But most of all, we hope it has empowered you to take control of your finances and make the most of your digital nomad lifestyle. Before we conclude, let's lighten the mood a bit. Why did the digital nomad get a savings account? Because he wanted his money to work as remotely as he does. And that's it for today's video. We hope you found this information useful. If you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time on Digital Nomad. Eight and a half minutes in, and we're not done yet. We've got some bonus tips for you to help you navigate the financial side of your digital nomad lifestyle. Let's dive in. First up, consider using credit cards with no foreign transaction fees. These cards can save you a significant amount of money when you're spending abroad, and they often come with added perks like travel insurance and rewards points. Speaking of rewards, don't forget to take advantage of travel rewards programs. These can offer you benefits like free or discounted flights, accommodation, and more. It's a great way to stretch your budget further and make your nomadic lifestyle even more sustainable. Lastly, utilize mobile banking apps for easy access to your funds. Many digital banks offer low or no fees for international transactions and ATM withdrawals, making them a great option for digital nomads. Plus, you can manage your money from anywhere in the world, right from your phone. And that's it for our bonus tips. Remember, being a digital nomad is all about being smart with your money. So, take these tips to heart and start making the most of your finances. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more tips and tricks on mastering the digital nomad lifestyle. Until next time, stay savvy, nomads.